geologists can use a variety of sedimentary structures to work out the direction of Junging or the way up direction in rocks. The sedimentary structures in this sample are called salt pseudomorphs. These structures were formed on a sediment surface when halite crystals grew on a muddy surface as a result of evaporation. The halite crystals have cubic shapes. Some of the larger crystals show a pattern of steps on their faces, giving them an indented hopper form. What you see on this surface is what formed after the surface was flooded by sediment-laden water. The halite crystals were dissolved and the hollows left were then filled with the sediment. This sediment preserves the shape of the salt crystals. These pseudomorphs are soil structures, that is, structures that formed the base of a bed. These diagrams show the steps leading to the formation of the pseudomorphs. Here, the salt crystals that formed on the surface of the mud are shown. The halite crystals have been dissolved, but moulds of their shapes are left behind. A later layer of sediment is deposited on top and casts of the halite crystals are formed at the base of the bed. If the mud layer is removed by erosion, the salt pseudomorphs are preserved at the base of the younger rock layer. This view shows the base of the rock sample. Here the sample is being tilted to its original orientation. The top of the bed is shown here. The pseudomorphs are at its base. In the field, if you are recording way up on a sketch of this sedimentary structure, you would indicate the Junging direction with this symbol.